Hi, how you doing everyone? I hope you are all doing great. For me, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Okay now, for today's lesson, we are going to continue the two more uses of the present progressive. You remember, for the previous video, we studied three uses of the present progressive. Okay, so today we are going to finish it. Please have a look. Uses number four. We use present progressive to talk about something which is reputation and irritation. Okay, now, if you want to show something always happens again and again and again, but you don't like it. You don't like it. This is your problem. So, we call irritation. So, if something always happen, normally we use present simple. But if you don't like it, you can communicate, you can express present progressive this way. By using some adverb always, constantly, continually. Okay? Now, let's go. She is always coming to class late. When you see this sentence, it is called present progressive. Why do you call it the present progressive? Look at the subject, the part of verb to be, and verb plus ing. This is the correct form of present progressive. But the meaning of this sentence, by we use present progressive, okay, to talk about reputation and irritation. So, what does it mean? Example, she is always coming to class late. When you mention this sentence as the present progressive, okay, you just want to show that this is the irritation. For example, if I say I am a teacher of English, okay, one of my students, okay, always comes to class late, okay, but I don't, you know, it doesn't matter for me, okay, it doesn't matter for me because I think that uh, sometimes she is busy at home, you know, sometimes she is busy at work, so I don't mind her, all right, but if I say she is always coming to class late. Inside this meaning, it means that I feel slightly annoyed. I feel slightly annoyed. Okay? This is a kind of irritation, make me slightly angry. But I don't want to say, you know, even I don't want to say anything, example like, you always come to class late, I don't like you, I don't like it. No, I don't want to say like that. I only express, okay, this feeling by using present progressive. I only say, she is always coming to class late. That's it. No more, alright? So, let's go to the second example. He is constantly talking in the meeting. When I say, he always or he constantly talks in the meeting everybody know that i am not angry okay i am not angry i don't feel the rep i don't i don't have any irritation all right i don't have any irritation but if i say he is constantly talking in the meeting what i say in the meaning it means that i feel a little bit angry i feel a little bit annoyed Okay, so even, even I don't say, I am angry with you now because you always talk inside the meeting. No, I don't want to say like that. But I only express this sentence by using present progressive. That's it. No more. Alright. So let's go to the third example. They are continually gossiping about me. They is a subject. R is the part of verb to be, gossiping is the verb plus ing. 
This is the right spelling rule of the present progressive. Gossiping, before adding ing, we have to double the last consonant. Remember? So we have gossiping. They are continually gossiping about me. Okay? So when I use present progressive in this sentence, it shows that the speaker feels a little annoyed, a little annoyed, okay? Slightly angry, okay? So you do not feel happy, right? Another, another example, you are always complaining my teaching. When I say, you always complain my teaching, okay? It means that I don't feel angry. Because this is my mistake or something like that, okay? I, I confess that I make a mistake in my teaching and then uh, you complain, you always complain me, okay? I say, okay, this is my mistake, no problem, okay? I don't, I'm not angry with you, right? But if I don't have any mistake, in fact, it's your mistake. But you are always complaining my teaching. So it means that I am a little bit angry with you. I am slightly angry, annoyed. Okay? So, we express this feeling, okay, that you are not happy with somebody's action by using present progressive. Alright? Look at the example, another example. He is always forgetting to bring something he needs. Not only one time he forget. Every time he always forget it. Okay? He always forgets something he need. But when I say he always forgets something he need, it doesn't mean that I'm angry with him. Uh, I'm angry with him. No. Okay? So it's no problem. But if I say he is always forgetting to bring something he need. When he comes to the class, he always borrow me and something like that. So I feel slightly annoyed. That's why I just he is always forgetting to bring something in it. Okay? Let's go to the last example. She is always tapping her pen on the desk. Tapping her pen on the desk. If I say, she always taps her pen on the desk. And then everybody, when they hear what I'm saying, they think that it's no problem for me. I don't care even she is tapping or not. You understand what I mean? But if I say she is always tapping her pen on the desk, everybody knows that I feel slightly annoyed. I feel slightly annoyed. Okay? So, in this way, we show about repetition and irritation. So, Irritation it means annoyed, not have you know not feeling good, not feeling well about something. So we use present progressive. Okay, so now let's move on to the last point, the last uses of present progressive. Fix plan the near future. Okay. We talk about present continuous, not just talk about something that is, is just happening, something that is uh, changing, you know, it's not like that. But even we talk about the future, we also use the present progressive, but only this case. Fix plan, the near future, the plan in the near future, okay? Now, take, take a look at that. She is meeting some friends tonight. She is meeting some friends tonight. Can you notice the word tonight? Tonight is one of the word expressions about the future. Alright, expressions about the future. So it is not coming yet. Okay, so we just present continuous here to talk about the fixed plan in the near future. It's going to happen in the future. Okay? It's not now. Okay? 
Let's go to another example. We are leaving for the beach tomorrow. We are leaving for the beach tomorrow. It means that now they are not leaving yet. Tomorrow they are leaving. In fact, if you see, if you listen carefully about the word tomorrow, it means that it must be in the future, all right? But we talk about plan, mixed plan in the future, the near future, we can use present progressive to show about the future plan. Okay? Present progressive to show about the future plan. And usually, you have a notice of keywords. Tomorrow, tonight, okay? Let's go to the other example. The kids are arriving at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. is not coming now, you know? It's coming in two more hours, three more hours, for example. So the action is called fixed plan in the near future. So we use present progressive in this time. The kids are arriving at 6 p.m. You cannot say the kids arrive at 6 p.m. Because this is the future plan. This is the mid plan in the near future. So you have to follow okay, the uses of the uh, fixed plan, I mean uses number five. Let's go to the other, uh, other example. She is speaking at the conference today. Now, right now, she is not speaking at the conference yet. Okay? Maybe she is washing uh, her clothes or maybe she is doing cooking. But today, today is I mean in the future, near the future, okay? in the near future. Okay? So we say, she is speaking at the conference today. So the action is happening in the near future. All right? Another example, I am meeting my mom at the airport tonight. I am meeting with my mom at the airport tonight. So tonight is not coming now, okay? Tonight is not coming now. So we use this sentence by, uh, we use this sentence as the present progressive, not the future, okay? Not the future form, okay? Another one, are you doing anything on Sunday? Sunday is coming tomorrow or coming after tomorrow, you know? So we talk about something which is the big plans in the near future. That's why we use present progressive to express that. We use present progressive to express fixed plan and the near future. Okay, so that's all for the lesson today. If, if anybody of you feel, you know, like lacking of some point related to the present simple or present progressive use or present progressive form and the spelling rule, so please go back to see the previous video. And before leaving or before finishing my video today, I would like to say thank you for uh, spending your time okay, with me today and um, don't forget try to study at home especially for your future. Thank you very much.